Hey guys, this is Joe from eattheplanet.org. It's uh, middle of March here in southern New England, and today I wanted to show you how to identify wild garlic. Uh, it basically stays green most of the winter. It most stays green most of the year. The big growing seasons are the fall and the spring. So right now we're going right into spring. So um, it's greening up a little bit more, and it, it's a little bit more visible at this time of year. So this is it here. It's usually dark green, or sometimes it's got a little bit of a purple tinge like this one does. But the typical color, uh, you can see all the dark green bases and the dark green new growth that's coming out now. That's the typical color that it is most of the year. So now in the spring when everything's still brown, uh, you'll start to see these patches uh, turn green and they usually stand out a little bit. But there are some important identification features uh, because there are toxic look-alikes uh, for example one time I saw a guy stuff a handful of star of Bethlehem into his mouth and he thought it was wild garlic until I told him it's not wild garlic and star of Bethlehem is toxic to some extent um, so you do have to be careful there's a couple of really good ID features for this that you can be confident that you're not picking up the wrong plant so one thing is the shape of the stem uh, even though this plant's in the Allium genus, there's a few different stem shapes for that genus. This is tubular with a little bit of more like a half a moon shape. One side of the stem is not a complete circle. Uh, other, other plants in the Allium genus, which includes garlic, onions, and shallots, have different shapes. Some of them are flat, like wild leeks, um, and some of them are more tubular, like this. Another really important identification feature, which can be used for all plants in the genus Allium, like garlic, onion, shallots, uh, is just to crush it up and smell it. It'll always smell like a garlic or an onion. If it doesn't, you could have the wrong plant, and there's no, uh, there's no point in risking it because, like I said, there are some poisonous lookalikes. For example, uh, wild leeks around here look similar to uh, lily of the valley, and these these uh, wild garlic look similar to Star of Bethlehem. Um, and then out west, there's death commas that look similar to some of the onions. So it's not worth taking a risk. If it doesn't smell like garlic or onion, clearly, this is obvious, as soon as you smell it the first time, you can tell it smells like garlic or onion. Um, so if it doesn't, then it's not worth taking the risk. I'm gonna show you what the bulbs look like and how to harvest them. Uh, take up a bunch of dirt around the, the plant uh, with a shovel but stay clear don't go so close because you need a lot of room to make sure that if it's growing at an angle you're not chopping any of the bulbs and also just go deep enough so many times uh, I've tried to dig these up with a trowel and just cut the bulb in half or cut the bulb off see they're deeper than you think There's one. So clearly the bulb is a lot smaller than it would be on a regular garlic or onion, um, but it still tastes great. And it can be used in all the same ways cooking. You can use the tops like green onion, you can use the bottom like garlic. So this is what I harvested just from that one bunch of wild garlic. Uh, a couple things to point out. The best time to do this is Late fall all the way through early spring, that's when the roots have the most um, starches and sugars. They're storing it for the plant during the rest of the growing season. Um, and this is just from one bundle. So if we're digging up one bundle, you get a decent amount of um, material here. Another thing to point out is that the roots don't need to be removed. You don't have to make these things look like you just bought them at the grocery store. The roots are edible just like the rest of the plant. So to summarize, most important thing is smell these before you pick them, before you eat them at least. They will smell like garlic. And that's your best identification feature. Also, best time to pick them is the fall and spring. Um, like I said, you should be able to point them out because they'll be turning green. Well, they stay green late in the fall and they turn green early in the spring. Um, I just checked the other day and the leeks, uh, the wild leeks, the ramps aren't even out yet. So these are out before um, some of the other things in the onion and garlic genus. 
So hopefully you learned something. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, put any questions you have in the comments and I will answer any questions. Thanks for watching.